Welcome to the Double Integrals Over General Regions video tutorial. The following example will show you how to evaluate double integrals over general regions using two methods. Example. R is defined as the region bounded by y equals square root of x and y equals x to the fourth. If f of x y equals 3 times x plus y, evaluate the following double integral. Step 1. Visualize the region R by graphing the bounding functions. This means that we want to graph y equals square root of x and y equals x to the fourth. First, we have to enter the bounding function separated by a comma. We want to make sure that we are in math mode by clicking math over here at the top. And then we go over to the expression palette to find the square root symbol and replace a with x. And then enter a comma and then x to the fourth. Now we want to open the context menu, which we do by right clicking, select plots, and then plot builder. Now click preview. Here we have a visual representation of our two bounding functions. Notice, however, that you can barely see our green graph, so we want to adjust the values on our x and y axes. Estimate the range for x and y on which you think the bounded area lies. Looking at a graph, you might estimate that r is bounded by x between 0 and 5 and y between 0 and 3. Now click Done. Now we want to enter the revised ranges beside x axes, so we want to replace this number with 0 and this number with 5. Click Options. In the first drop-down menu, select Global Defaults and Settings. The first drop-down menu can be found over here, and click Global Defaults and Settings. Under Variables, enter the range for y on which you think the bounded area lies. Remember that we had estimated that y lies between 0 and 3. So we enter 0 over here, and 3 over here. In the label box, enter y, and select Orientation as Horizontal. So over here we want to enter y, and select the orientation as Horizontal. Now click Preview. Here we have our two bounding functions, and the region enclosed by them is our region R. Now click Done, and click Plot. Our graph should now appear in your worksheet. Step 2. Find the points of intersection. We do this by first equating the two bounding functions. Once again, we want to make sure that we are in math mode by clicking Math over here at the top. And then we want to enter our two bounding functions. We want to enter square root of x, and we want to equate it to x to the fourth. Now we want to open the context menu and select move to left. And we want to open the context menu once more, go to solve, and select solve. Now we want to determine appropriate solutions from graph. Here we have a list of solutions for when square root of x equals x to the fourth. The first two solutions, x equals 0 and x equals 1, are parent solutions from our graph. The other two solutions are complex numbers, so we will not consider them for solving this problem. Step 3. Determine the order of integration. From our graph, we can see that r is the region between our two bounding curves. You can see that r is bounded on the bottom entirely by y equals x to the fourth, and on the top entirely by y equals square root of x. This means that we can easily integrate with respect to y first and then x. This will give us a double integral of the form dy dx. We are going to integrate with respect to y first using a task template. Step 1. Determine the bounds on x and y. We want the bounds on y to be in terms of functions of x and the bounds on x to be numerical values. Using the points of intersection we found before, we can see that x is between 0 and 1 and y is between x to the fourth and square root of x. Step 2. Create and evaluate the double integral. First we want to go to Tools and then Tasks and browse. And then we want to open the multivariate calculus tab, select multiple integration, and Cartesian 2D. Then click insert minimal content at top of pane. You will find the insert minimal content button over here. This will insert a table into your worksheet. Now we want to manipulate values in our table to match our problem. Notice that our integrand is located over here in our question, so we want to replace this with 3 times x plus y. Press the Enter key. Now y is being bounded by u of x and v of x, and x is being bounded by a and b. From our established bounds on x and y, we can see that u of x equals x to the fourth, so we want to replace this with x to the fourth. v of x equals square root of x. Once again, we'll find the square root symbol in our expression palette, and we want to replace a with x. a equals 0 and b equals 1. 
Notice that I am pressing the Enter key after entering each of these values so that they appear in blue below. Now we want to press the Enter key at the commands to execute them with the new values. The first command will create the double integral we want to evaluate and notice that it is with respect to y first and then x. The second command will give you the evaluated value of the double integral. And the third command will show you the steps to evaluate the double integral. Over here is the solution to our problem. Now let us consider another method of integration. Coming back to our example and graph, recall that r is the region between our two bounding curves. Notice that r is bounded on the left entirely by x equals y squared. This is the same as y equals square root of x, written in terms as x equals the function of y. Also notice that r is bounded on the right entirely by x equals y to the 1 fourth. This is the same as y equals x to the fourth. Because of this condition, we can easily integrate with respect to x first and then y. This will give us a double integral of the form dx dy. So let us do the example again, integrating with respect to x first. Step 1. Determine the bounds on x and y. We want the bounds on x to be in terms of functions of y and the bounds on y to be numerical values. These numerical values will be the points of intersection that we had already found. Notice from our graph that x is bounded by y squared and y to the 1 fourth. Since we had found the points of intersection of the two curves to be at x equals 0 and x equals 1, the corresponding y values are y equals 0 and y equals 1. So we have y bounded by 0 and 1. Step 2. Create the double integral. First we want to choose the integral symbol on the palette expression. We can find the palette expression over here on the left hand side, and we want to select the definite integral symbol. Then we want to enter the bounds of y, so we replace a with 0, and if we press the tab key, this selects b, and we replace b with 1. Then tab to f, so if we press the tab key once more, this selects f. Now click the integral symbol on the palette expression again. So we go over here to the palette expression and click the definite integral symbol. Then we want to enter the bounds of x, so we replace a with y squared, and we press the tab key to select b, and replace b with y to the 1 fourth. Then we want to replace f with f of xy, so if you press the tab key that selects f, so taking the value of f of xy from our question, we replace it with 3 times x plus y. Then we want to change the first dx to dx, so if we press the tab key that selects the x of the first dx, and we want to replace that with x, and we want to change the outer dx to dy, so if we press the tab key that selects the x of the second dx, and we want to replace that with y. Step 3. Evaluate the double integral. To do this, we press the Enter key. And here we have the evaluated value of our double integral. Notice that this solution is the same solution we got when we integrated with respect to y first and then x. Thank you for watching the double integrals over general regions video tutorial.